Hi everyone. Today in maths, we are going to carry on looking at 2D shapes. Now, so far we've had a look at the names of shapes, how many sides the shapes have, and we've had a look at vertices. So today we're going to move on to something called symmetry. Now, symmetry is where it's the same on both sides. It's equal, the same. So first, let's have a look at these shapes. Now, there's a special word here, polygons. Can anyone remember or have a think about what polygon means? If you'd like to have a think about it, you can pause here. If not, we'll talk about it together. So a polygon is a shape that has flat sides. It doesn't have curved sides. So you can see this circle here has one curved side. All of the other shapes are what we would call polygons. Can you say polygons? Great. Now looking at these polygons, I wonder if we can find the shapes where one half will overlap the other half exactly. Now what that would look like, I've got some shapes on my wall here to show you, and I'm going to find the square. Can you find it for me? It's up here, isn't it? Here's our square. Okay, looking at our square, we know it's a square because it has four sides, uh, the same size, and it has one, two, three, four vertices. We are going to see if we can make the square overlap. And what that means is I'm going to fold my square to see if the corners can meet. I don't know if you can see there, but the corners are meeting in my square. I'm going to just put that in half. Can you see that one half of my square overlaps the other side exactly? So we don't have any extra square hanging off. It's symmetrical because both sides are equal. Okay. I wonder if there's another way we can fold that square. Should we have a look? So here's our square again. We have those two sides. But I think if I folded it this way and had my corners meet, The same thing happens. Both sides overlap each other perfectly. There's no extra square hanging off, which means this side is symmetrical to this side. The same as when we did it like this, this side was symmetrical to this side. Okay, now we are going to practice overlapping shapes to check for symmetry. So what you need to do is either print the shapes that I've uploaded for you on the home learning in resources, or if you don't have a printer, you could do what I did. And what I did was find some scrap paper and just cut out some shapes. You might need a grown up to help you here because your grown up might need to draw the shapes for you, okay? So it's up to you which shapes you use. It would be good if you have a triangle in there somewhere, just like I have. And a rectangle would be good too. A circle, a square, and I've even chosen to use an octagon. How many sides does an octagon have? It has eight sides. Okay, so get your shapes ready. You might want to pause it here while you get them ready. And then we'll see you in a minute when we're overlapping them. OK, shall we try overlapping some shapes? I wonder which shapes you have. I have a rectangle here. I'm going to see if I can overlap my rectangle. I think I can do it this way. I can. It overlaps perfectly, which means I've done it the right way. I wonder if you've managed to do any of your shapes yet. I might have a go at doing, oh, this triangle looks fun. Let's try this one. Remember, if I can overlap it perfectly, that means 
both sides will be equal, there'll be nothing hanging over, and it's symmetrical. Can you see that? Both sides there are the same. I wonder if I can do it this way. I'm going to try. It's really good to explore to see what happens. Oh dear. When I go this way, put a little bit of the tip pointing down there. If I show you from the other side, I don't think that's the same as that side. What do you think? Do you think this side is the same as this side? No. Oops. Our rectangle's falling down. I'm going to try a different shape. I'm going to try the circle. Now you can see that I had a go at the circle earlier because I was having a little explore. So let's see. Can I overlap my circle? Yes, I can. Look at that. Both sides are the same. OK. If you would like to carry on overlapping your shapes for a little bit and exploring, maybe do what we did with our triangle and see if it works another way. It might not work. See what happens. If you've finished folding your shapes, we're going to start to look at the line of symmetry now. So can you see this line here? This line is called a line of symmetry. OK, so it's in the middle of the two equal sides. Here we can see a square. Now, we would say that a square is symmetrical because it has a line of symmetry. You can see that blue line there pointing to the line of symmetry. Now, on these triangles here, can you just use your finger to point to a line of symmetry in both shapes? So can you point to the lines of symmetry? Good, so here's one on the purple shape and here's the one on the light blue shape. Would we say these triangles are symmetrical? I would, I would definitely say that because I can see they have a line of symmetry. A circle symmetrical because it has a line of symmetry. What about this rectangle? Is this rectangle symmetrical? If you think it is, why do you think that? That would be right because it's got two equal sides and it has a line of symmetry. Now, what you are going to do is you've already started folding your shapes so that they overlap. What you're going to do now is see if you can draw a line of symmetry on them. So I've started here for you. Can you see my rectangle here? Because I could fold it over the other half exactly, I've, draw a, I've drawn a line where it folded to show you that that is the line of symmetry for this shape. Does that mean my rectangle is symmetrical? It does, doesn't it? I've also had a go at our triangle. I didn't put one on this fold here. So do you remember when we were exploring and we folded it this way? And we said, mm -mm, that is not symmetrical there. We could not fold that so that it overlapped exactly. That's why. I haven't put a line there because that wouldn't be a line of symmetry, would it? That is there because I can fold it exact. OK, let's do one more of my shapes together and then you can go off and have a go at finding your own lines of symmetry. Let's do square. Now, I can remember already that the square is symmetrical. So I'm going to fold it over exact. And I'm going to draw a line with my ruler on that folding line there to show that's its line of symmetry. So let me show you. Here is my squares line of symmetry. Now I'm not going to stop there. 
because I want to see if it's possible for a shape to have more than one line of symmetry. Now, we did realise that we can fold it that way too. So would I be able, what do you think? Would I be able to draw a line here? Yes, I would. I'm going to draw another line of symmetry on. So far, my square has two lines of symmetry. It's a very symmetrical shape. There we go. Looks a bit like a window now, doesn't it? There's one. There's two. I wonder if it has another one. I'm just going to explore today and see what happens. Doesn't matter if I can't find one. I think, oh my goodness, look what's happened. I've only found another one. Look at that, going that way. Can you see? I'm going to draw another line of symmetry on. Wow, that makes three. I can't believe it. Let me try one more time. Surely there can't be any more. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, guess what's happened? I found another one. Look at that. Another one, which means it has four. There we go, pop that in there. Now squares are regular shapes and on regular 2D shapes, you will probably notice, and I want you to have an explore if you have these 2D shapes cut out, Regular shapes have the same line of symmetries as they have sides. A very interesting fact, isn't it? So fold your shapes, see if they overlap, draw a line of symmetry for that shape and see if you can find another line of symmetry. Also keep exploring to see if any of the shapes don't have a line of symmetry that you thought they would have. So maybe you've had a look and you think, I think that has a line of symmetry there check maybe it does maybe it doesn't pause the video here because we have a challenge to do when we come back okay if you're back with us now and you've had fun finding your lines of symmetry let's have a look at this challenge together so here the question says does each polygon what's a polygon that's right, a, sh a shape with straight sides. So does each polygon have a line of symmetry? So instead of folding them this time, we've got to figure it out just by looking at them. Now, looking at this pentagon here, because it has five sides, one, two, three, four, five, I can see that that has a line of symmetry. If I was to put a line of symmetry down there, that shape, that, that would be the same on each side. And that tells me that shape is symmetrical. So let's check. Yes, it does. Wow. Okay, here we have, uh, well, what's this shape? You tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. It's a hexagon. Do you think it has a line of symmetry? Yes, it does. I'm going to show you where that line of symmetry would be. Which colour pen should we use? Let's use the black one so it stands out. Okay. It's not going to be a very straight line. Oh, there we go. There's one line of symmetry. I think I can get one here. Oh, went a bit wonky at the end there, didn't we? But that would be a line of symmetry there. Now, what do you think about this shape here. It doesn't have a line of symmetry. It does look like a shape that could because it looks a little bit like a rectangle, but it doesn't have a line of symmetry. Sometimes we can test them by putting a mirror in front of them to see if it looks the same in the mirror when we hold the mirror halfway over the shape. But this shape doesn't have a line of symmetry. What about this shape here? I'm going to show you now, ready? It does have a line of symmetry. Should we see if we can do this one too? Let's have a look. Where do you think the line of symmetry is? Can you use your finger on the screen? 
here is the line of symmetry. What about this last one here? Let's have a look. First of all, I'm going to draw a line and you're going to tell me if this would be a line of symmetry, a very wonky line of symmetry. What do you think? I think it would be, let's check. Yes, it'd be equal on both sides. So well done for joining in maths today. I've had quite a lot of fun with this line of symmetry. I hope you have too. Now, if you are up for a little bit more of a challenge, there is a challenge sheet for you to try on your home learning where you can look at shapes and tell me if they have lines of symmetry or not. So have a go, enjoy, and I hope you've enjoyed today's maths lesson. Bye everyone.